go with me to Luke. Yeah, Luke chapter 18. Luke 18. And we're going to look about, yeah, verse 41 is where he was, where Jesus says, what wilt thou that I shall do unto you? Notice he said, what wilt thou that I shall? Here's the second thing I notice when we start to minister to people, a lot of times I will say, what can I do for you? Or uh, what, what would you, you know, what can I help you with? Something like that. Here's what I notice. 99 point 99 probably percent of the people that give me an answer they do not tell me what they want they tell me what they have instead of saying okay for instance Jesus said what do you want me to do for you and the, the blind man said that I might receive my eyesight see how simple that is he just told him what he wanted he didn't say well Jesus I, I was born blind and you know I, I've been to every doctor and none of them can help me. And he, he didn't do all that. He just said, what do you want me to do for you? I, I want to receive my eyesight. Jesus said, receive your eyesight. There you go. He got healed. Amen. So what is the, the point here? Don't say what you have. Say what you want. Now, that includes if I ask you before I minister to you. Or it also includes if you're going to pray and tell God what you, what you need. Because he said, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you receive them. Now, think about that. If you say in your prayer or in an answer to me <clears throat> what you have and God is saying whatever you desire, right? So when you say what you have, he's just taking that as this is what you desire. And guess what? You stay that way or you get worse. Yeah. Amen. I've had people tell me before, um, <clears throat> would you would you pray for my cancer? And I, yeah, I, I tell them all the time, uh, no, your cancer looks like it's doing pretty good on its own. <laughs> you, you, it doesn't need my help. Amen. And they look at me like, huh? I mean, and I'm like, you have to understand, I'm not praying. First off, it's not your cancer. Amen. It is the devil's cancer. It is not yours. You need to not embrace it. Don't make it part of your life. Amen. Keep it separate from you. Always look at it like it's separate from you. Amen. Now, so you have to be able to decide what you want and whenever you say it, because whatever you say, like Jesus said, that shall I do for you. That, that's what I shall do for you. So don't say what you have. Say what you want. If I say, what can I do for you? Tell me what you want. I want to be healed of this. I want to receive my eyesight. I want to be free of this, whatever it is. But state it. Just it's really simple. Just state what you want. I mean, think about it. If you went to a restaurant and the server came up and said, all right, you know, are, are you all ready to order? Yeah, you know, I'm really hungry. Uh, uh, matter of fact, I've been hungry all day. I mean, I've been, I mean, I haven't ate anything since breakfast. And I mean, my stomach's growling and I'm hungry. And I, I'm telling you, it's really bad. I mean, I'm really, I, I could be starving right now, actually. I'm not sure. I mean, and your server's just in there going, okay. Whenever you get around to an order, I'll take your order. How's that? Right? Maybe I can come back in the wall once you decide what you want. Not what you have. What you have is hunger. What you want is food. Amen? What kind of food do you want? Tell me the food you want. You can't even say, I just want food. Amen? Because then she's going to go back to the back or he's going to go back to the back and say, uh, just throw anything on a the plate. They're going to eat whatever. They just want food. Here it is. You wouldn't do that with a server. Why do you think that works with God? Amen? Amen? So, all right. And if it did work that way, it'd be in the Bible. But you don't see that. You see, Jesus is always saying, what can I do for you? What, what shall I do for you? What do you want me to do? What do you intensely desire for me to do for you? And then you always see them saying, whatever. Receive my eyesight. And you know what the next thing is always amazing? He always gives them what they ask. You ever know? He never turned somebody down. He never told the blind man, no, you know what? I'm not going to heal your eyes, but I will make your hearing much better so that you can hear. Well, that's the way we treat him. We think, well, he's not going to give me what I want. He's going to give me what he wants for me. Well, what he wants for you is what you want. Amen. Amen. 
He wants you to be made whole. That's what he wants. So he's going to give you. And he said, if you, you know, if you're a child of his, especially, then you're not going to ask for one thing. And he's going to give you something else. Jesus actually said that. And yet our theology today says, well, you can ask what you want, but Jesus is going to give you what he wants you to have. That's not the way it works. He, he answers your prayers. He answers your desire. Amen.